could eating full fat dairy reduce your risk of metabolic syndrome and hypertension? I'm Dr. Brett Scher, the medical director at dietdoctor.com, and I want to talk about a recent publication uh, that was in uh, BMJ journals. It was in BMJ Open Diabetes Research and Care, and it was an evaluation of the PURE study, which we've talked about before and even had a podcast with one of the researchers, Andrew Mente. But the, the PURE study was, was a huge study, over 177,000 people, um, 21 uh, countries, and um, it was an observational study, so a prospective observational study, which admittedly is not the highest quality of evidence. Um, but what this particular evaluation showed was, I'm going to look at this to make sure I get the numbers right, intakes of higher intakes of whole fat dairy consumed alone or with low fat dairy combined were associated with a, a lower prevalence of metabolic syndrome. Whereas e, uh, consuming low fat dairy alone by itself without high fat dairy had no risk higher or lower for metabolic syndrome. But I'll repeat that. If you had high fat dairy, those people who consumed high fat dairy had a lower risk of metabolic syndrome. And, you know, as hypertension is part of the metabolic syndrome, so that played in as well as it, and same for diabetes, the risk of hypertension and diabetes was lower with the consumption of high fat dairy. So now what does this mean? Does this mean high fat dairy prevents metabolic syndrome or prevents diabetes? No. Right, that is not a conclusion we can make based on this um, observational prospective trial. But for those who are claiming that fat, and especially saturated fat and dairy fat, induces diabetes or induces metabolic syndrome, this type of a trial certainly suggests that that's not the case. Because if it was such a strong inducer of diabetes and metabolic syndrome, how is it possible that those who had more of it had a lower risk of diabetes and metabolic syndrome and hypertension. So observational trials give you some suggestions. They can point you in directions. They don't prove cause, they don't prove cause and effect, but this is certainly, certainly interesting to say, look, I mean, and, and this isn't the only trial that has shown this. We have resources at dietdoctor.com that you should check out if you're interested, showing other evidence of saturated fats, including dairy, having a lower incidence of disease for those people who, who consume them. So this is just more evidence that Really, there, there's the um, the concerns about saturated fat, about dairy, are based on very poor quality evidence and don't hold up for the majority of the evidence. Don't hold up in trials like this, specifically for the pure trial. Um, it's time to kind of put that concern away and realize that they are not harmful for the vast majority of the population. So, you know, you probably hear me criticize observational trials a lot. And yes, I, I am very critical of them because I think we need to be very careful how we interpret them. So again, not to interpret this as saying dairy, full fat dairy prevents metabolic syndrome, but certainly this goes in the face of saying it causes metabolic syndrome or causes diabetes or causes health problems when we're seeing the exact opposite. All right. Hope that was helpful. Um, click subscribe below so you get all our YouTube updates for our podcasts and our news videos and our cooking demonstrations and our inspirational videos. Um, there's so many good good videos out there and so much good material on our YouTube channel. You don't want to miss any. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day.